Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I want to talk today about pressure and how you use pressure in your, with, through your feet into the ground and how that develops power in your swing. If we think of it this way, when I set myself up, let's say I weigh 100 kilograms, that's to make my maths easy, and I'm standing on two pairs of scales. Each scale, if my balance is even, should have 50 and 50 kilograms. When I swing back to the top of the swing, my balance is probably, oh sorry, the scales are going to read probably maybe 80 and 20. Makes sense, it adds up to 100. When I swing to about here somewhere, this scale might have, say, 70, and this one might have 80. It's like, wait a minute, that adds up to 150. So as my downswing starts, I'm actually applying more pressure to the ground through my feet. Now my body doesn't necessarily drop or, ju or, or jump into the ground, but there is a change of pressure where the pressure does go into the ground. By the time I get back to impact, I'm probably going to be somewhere close to 80 and 20, so close to 100. When I get to the end of my swing, I'm probably going to be about 95 and 5. So the feeling as the club starts to swing down is that from here, as my arms swing down, does the pressure go into the ground through my feet? And again, it's not a drop of your body or anything like that, which I've seen a lot of people trying to uh, imitate some of the, the better players, the stronger players, where they actually do that noticeably. Just have a sense that you're adding that pressure into the ground through your feet and let that be the build up of your speed. Now, when you do that, start applying the pressure to the ground here and then ease off. Don't, don't try and continue it. So it's just the very start of the downswing. Now the downswing only takes about maybe a quarter to a third of a second, so it's gonna occur very quickly. So don't try and keep applying it. So if we play a shot, my thought is just at the very start of the downswing, I'm gonna apply some of that pressure, but as you'll see, my body doesn't jump up and down. And the net result is that I should stay well balanced.